What's up guys, my name is Skill87 and today I'm reviewing White Knight Chronicles Dose for the PlayStation 3. So, yeah. Um, no, it's funny now, I'm thinking about it. When I reviewed White Knight Chronicles 1, I was fucking humongous. So, after I watched, after I'm done with this review, I'm gonna go watch my White Knight Chronicles 1 review. And I'm gonna laugh at how fat I was. I was so ugly, disgusting. I ate lots of cheeseburgers. But, that is neither then, or now, or however the saying goes, review! The Beast, Why Not Chronicles 2. So, Why Not Chronicles 2, let me get this out of the way. Why Not Chronicles 2 comes with Why Not Chronicles 1. If you do not have Why Not Chronicles 1, do not go and buy Why Not Chronicles 1. Buy Why Not Chronicles 2. It comes with Why Not Chronicles 1, the entire game. It comes with the entire fucking Why Not Chronicles 1 with the updated graphics engine, the updated combat, the updated text, voice acting, cutscenes, Everything. So everything that is awesome about Wine Chronicles just is fucking put into Wine Chronicles Uno, giving you an entirely fresher, more fabulous experience. Only possible in a PlayStation place. So that right there is incentive to get this game because Wine Chronicles 1 will take you about 40 50 hours to beat, depending on the way you play. Then you transfer your fucking character who's in a great face and go into Wine Chronicles. Dose, even though his fucking levels are gonna cut to level 30 fucking 5, which is gay as shit. And then you're gonna whack face in Granite Chronicles Dose with the fucking, your avatar and shit. And continue with another 40, 50 hour campaign that's fucking awesome. A bunch of retarded ass side quests that add no fucking meaning to the game. But it doesn't matter because it's fucking awesome. So what is White Knight Chronicles? White Knight Chronicles is about this really emo-tastic boy named Leonard. And it's all like, you know what? I like this chick. I met this chick when I was like five and shit. And then it's like flash, flash for like 10, 15 years. And now I'm some kind of like emo fuck with long hair and a retarded ass ponytail. And I'm all like, yo, I'm going to fucking go to this castle during this motherfucking like parade and shit. And I'm just going to like waltz in there and shit and take over the white knight and be like, yeah, nigga. And I'm going to wreck shit like I actually want to fight. I never held a sword in my fucking life. And yet, I'm the fucking chosen one. I cannot explain why. I'm going on an adventure with a bunch of random ass niggas and a black guy in a fucking Japanese RPG game. I cannot believe this. Look how far we've come in fucking gaming where the Japanese have included a black man in their fucking video game with stereotypical dreads. Can you fucking believe this? But then there's a subliminal message behind it because the game was spear. And when a guy in a, has a spear in a video game, he represents what class? Dragoon class. What do dragoons do? They jump. What do black people do? They fucking jump. So I understand your game, Japan. I understand you fucking racial ass shit. All right, motherfuckers. All right, you got Sean and Street Fighter fucking Third Strike, and he used to be black, but then he said, nah, nah, you know what? We're not going to have a fucking black guy doing tornado kicks. So when he came to America, you made his ass Brazilian and Spanish and shit. I know your fucking tricks, all right? I don't even know why I'm talking about this shit, because I'm here to review why the Chronicles dose. So, you know, um... You know, the white knight versus the black knight and the pink knight. And then it's like Power Rangers and shit. Um, you know, I said I go and say the story is very old school. Right? The story is very plain. You're basically, it's like you, you're just dude and you c control the fucking knight. And then it's like, yo, the prince gets kidnapped. And by the end of part one, spoiler alert, everything's all good and type shit. Then One Night Chronicles 2 happens and the fucking story's still continuing. No one can figure out what the hell's going on. Why did we just get deranked over level 35? I don't understand this shit. I just lost all my fucking gear. I spent a thousand hours getting in White Night Chronicles 1 online. And I gotta fucking start over. And so now I'm playing One Night Chronicles 2. And the story's continuing. And my avatar is still fucking a mute. And fucking Eldar is still old. And fucking Cisna is still gay. I don't understand this shit. The story's retarded. I don't play talking about the story anymore. All right, you do not buy this game for the fucking story. You bought this game for the amazing gameplay. Matter of fact, the super awesome, super sexy, amazing gameplay. That I seriously just touch myself to while I play. One hand in control, one hand down here. It's all good and shit. And then once in a while I go online because I'm bored and shit. Then you beat the game and you go online for like thousands and thousands of hours. This game is so worth 60 fucking dollars. Why? Because you get two fucking campaigns, both with the upgraded engine, combat, all that good shit, both of which 40, 50 hours each. They can go all on and rape fucking face with a bunch of random ass British motherfuckers that don't even speak fucking English, and they're all like, oi, mate, and then they can't fucking equip their damn characters the way they should because they're like retarded. Oh, I don't shield and sword, but I want to use magic. I don't understand this fucking concept. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right? Why did you just fall? So, ha, the graphics. Graphics are okay. Think, think. Think PS2 right before the PS3 came out. Basically, it's like that. The graphics are nice. They're just they just like 
there they go all out. Think anime. The game is so fucking anime. It's like anime on a scale of 1 through 10. It's in a fucking 11. It is anime. It is fucking just balls to the wall anime. Everything is like really plain looking. It's the best fucking PS2 game I ever fucking played. I swear to God. So graphics are okay. I didn't get the single thumbs up for me. Not the, not the, not the half and not the dose because the dose will be equal on charted today, which is coming up soon. No, you don't get the dose. You get the uno. Why? Because you may not be PS3 graphics, but you're the best PS2 graphics I've ever fucking seen in my fucking life. No, I take that back. Metal Gear Solid, Dose, no. Blake, no. Freedom Fighters. No. Whatever. I'm going off track again. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Thanks to all this coffee I drink. And then that combined with my hyperactive ADD and shit. So, graphics okay. The controls. The controls are pretty fucking simple. All right, here's what you do. All right, here's the fucking controls. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate the controls with Xbox 360 controller. No, it doesn't work because the D-pad's fucking retarded. So here's the you know, controller. All right, you move. You, you, know, you move. Camera. You select. Menu. Start. And you control the fucking. Uh, what you do is okay. No, let's, let, me, let me get serious. Um, this is a very strict RPG. And very old school RPG mechanics. And what you do is whenever you level up in this game, you fucking get a bunch of points. You use these points to add to a skill tree, whether it be sword, axes, bows, ma you know, divine magic, black magic, whatever you want. You use these points to upgrade more fucking talents within that certain skill tree. You then put the skill trees into three separate bars that go across the screen. You use the D-pad to select what attacks you want to do. These attacks are either defensive, I mean defensive, offensive. Magic base, blah, 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 depending on the way you want to play the game. I'll be a tank, you know, you choose a bunch of defensive abilities, blah, 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 blah. You take your RPG knowledge from other games and your corporate dance to White Knight Chronicle. I'm not going to sit here and fucking explain all this shit to you. Just check out the video description below when I'm done with this video, and I'll make this review make a lot of fucking sense, because I really can't explain this game into a fucking video, because it's just that fucking amazing. It's so amazing, it cannot be done with words, alright? This video is more like entertainment. The actual review will be down there in the video description below. I don't know why I'm wasting your fucking time with these retarded ass 10 minute videos. I don't even know why you fucking watch them. I'm retarded as shit. And then I get paid off YouTube to do this shit for no fucking reason. I'm sure it's taking 15 minutes out of my fucking life to make some stupid ass video. And then seriously, I get a check at the end of the month. And I'm like, wow, spending chain. Sweet. So I want to thank you guys, subscribers. Because you guys pretty much buy all my games. So, uh, controls are very simple. They work. They respond to the fucking awesome. The graphics are okay. The story mode. The story is retarded, but it's fucking long and it's hard and it's <laughs> long. But, um,. The gameplay, oh joy, oh joy, oh bits of metrosexual joy. The gameplay is so fucking good. It's like, dude, like, I'm a, I'm a guy with a spear and a shield and I can tank and I can jump and I can do defensive abilities. I can take my character online. Uh, when you start a new game, you, you create an avatar. It's basically yourself. And, you, and he joins Leonard. And his motley crew of non heterosexuals and his adventure to figure out why he's chosen one type shit. And this is the guy that you will take online. Alright, so you, you base your fucking the way you raise your character in the story mode. And you can get a lot of cool shit in the story mode. You take the motherfucker online. Um, once you go online, the, like the game completely fucking changes. Like the, the story mode is very straightforward RPG that plays like an MMO. So think about it, it's a very old school RPG, right? Save the world type shit, but the gameplay is very MMO like. If you play an MMO, then it's pretty much self explanatory. From there, when you go online, it actually turns into an MMO. Because what you do with the online is you go into a lobby, you join up with other niggas, and you're like, you want to go on adventure type shit? And they're like, yes, son, high five, ooh, emotes, you know, sit, pray, all this other shit. And you go on quests, and you go on missions, and you get points, and you can rank up your fucking guild rank. I think the max guild rank is 30, and when you get to rank 30, you obviously officially have no fucking life because you can put like a five hundred dollars into this game and it's not even be level fucking twenty. But uh, then <coughs> there's your guild rank, there's your binding rank where you donate shit to a fucking place. And the higher you rank, the better stuff you get to fucking bind. And basically, the online is like MMO like gameplay, but it's based off missions. It's not like it's not like MMO like WoW and there's guild and shit. No, it's not like that. You are your own man. You can be a part of a clan, but there's no actual like system in, within the game. To make it so you can do shit like that, it's basically you are the one guy, you go online, you go into a lobby, meet up with other players, you find a place you want to journey with, you fucking go to a, a certain NPC, you click on a mission you want to do, they join your mission, you fucking rock, you get a rank, and you rinse and repeat. MMO like gameplay with a mission type system. 
with lobbies and an actual in-game form that fucking rocks your fucking socks. You get your own little, you know, main lobby. You get to fucking modify your lobby, make your own lobby. So other niggas can join your lobby and shit. It's a very, it's it's awesome. It's all awesome for what it is, and it's free. And like I said, try to keep up with me. Everything will be in the video description below. Much better explanation than what I'm actually doing here. But um, you know, um, gameplay is real short. All right, you're gonna like this bitch. You're really gonna like it. All right, if you like traditional RPGs or turn-based RPGs, RPGs where you can move around freely. RPGs where everyone's all into the kawaii shit. They're like, yay, your armor's cool looking and type shit. Then you're going to really like this game. Because there's lots of, fuck, lots of fucking dudes. Like, there's so many fucking side quests retarded. You got side quests that you get from NPCs where you just go from point to point and be back and forth for no fucking reason. You get stupid little text messages and shit. And then you get a thousand million fucking points. Then you got side quests that are called the hunts. And you go to an NPC, you get a fucking hunt mission. You go kill these retarded hard bosses and then you get a bunch of cool ass armor and shit. Then you have other fucking side quests where you have to buy them, and these are the side quests you can take online also, and other niggas help you and shit, and you can grind the XP, grind points, you can use, you know, the missions to get specific items to build to other items, you gain points to use these points to buy all this amazing epic gear, that when you have this epic gear, your online penis is obviously bigger than it actually is in real life, because this fucking gear is amazingly hard to get, so yeah, game's fun, not a bank for your buck. Final Chronicles 2 is amazing in the sense that for $60, you're going to get two campaigns, both of which will take you about 40 to 50 hours to beat. You're going to get Final Chronicles 1, which has been remastered, Final Chronicles 2, everything. And then when you actually beat the game, the final bosses, like the boss fights are pretty fucking fun. And if you actually like MMOs and you want an MMO that actually works and the game is built to play with a controller, you're going to like Final Chronicles 2. I don't understand why the reviewers get this game 6 and 7. I play this game with the biggest fucking smile on my face. I couldn't stop playing this bitch. All right, literally, I could have had this review done earlier. I was too busy actually playing the fucking game because I was too into it. All right, I was coming home from work at 10, like 10.30 and shit, playing this game until like 5 in the fucking morning because this game is fucking amazing. All right, take it from a guy who's been playing RPGs all his fucking life. I'm 23 fucking years old. Fuck these fucking new guys on M4G and shit. Oh, my God, this game sucks. No, no, no. No, I'm telling you it's good. All right? I'm telling you it's fucking amazing. I told everyone in my White White Chronicles 1 review where I was a fat fucking slot to buy it. And everyone that bought it came back and told me, yo, that was one of the best games I ever played. White Chronicles 1 was the absolute fucking truth. All right? Now, you thought White White Chronicles 1 was the truth. Nigga, you play White White Chronicles, douche! And you don't like this shit. This game is better than White White Chronicles 1. It's faster than White White Chronicles 1. The other battle system is a lot better. All right? You know what? I'm done with this review. I'm done. I am fucking done. Right? Look at the video description below, okay? And you will be fucking convinced that this is one of the best games on PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, bitch. Right? You will buy this fucking game. You are not a true RPG gamer or, or, or have any respect for the PS2 unless you buy this motherfucking game. Right? Right? You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm upset. All right, final score. The final score is you buy the fucking game. That's the final fucking score. Do not even be in the comment section, but like, yo, what the fuck, man? What the final score for this game? No, nigga. You buy this fucking game. Do not rent this bitch. How do you fucking rent this bitch? You will not beat this game in two days because you rent this bitch. There is too much game in this bitch to fucking rent. You pay 60 bucks. You get the campaign. You beat the first campaign. Then you go, and then you transfer your character. You get 35. You play the fucking again. And then you go online and you rape face. That's what you fucking do, okay? Fucking asking me. Fucker, review and rating type shit. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Okay. Wait, wait. Four, five, one, three, three, seven.